This is Wine About Real Estate with Team K Squared. We're at Michelle's at Island Colony, and I'm here tonight with Josh Nisley, Susan Santos from Susan Santos Insurance Agency, and our awesome buyer's rep, Joelle Seashell. Aloha. So, Josh, what kind of wine are we having tonight? So for this episode, we're going to start out, I think, light and sweet, and I think appropriate with the sunset in the background, a uh, German Riesling from the Mosul, re Mosul region from uh, the Selbach, Selbach Winery. So let's give it a taste. Yeah. Definitely on the sweet side. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it is very good. It'll go great with our salmon pate we, um, topped with caviar that we're having. So we are here to talk about insurance. So um, Jojo, what, what's one of the questions we, we get a lot? So a vital part of purchasing a home is homeowner's insurance. So Susan, can you tell us what homeowner's insurance is and why we need to get it when we're purchasing a home? Yes. So I'll start with why, and usually it's because your lender requires you to have it in order to close escrow, right? But really the home purchase is going to be someone's biggest, if um, one of the biggest, or if not the biggest investment they're ever gonna make in their lifetime. And so you really wanna protect that from, for example, a fire. In the West Coast, we've been having a lot of fires lately. And um, really when your house burns down to the ground, whether there's a house standing on that lot or not, you still have to pay your mortgage every month. And so it's important to have the appropriate insurance coverage in place in order to ensure that if your house were to burn, we're going to be able to rebuild it back to where it was before the fire. That's understandable. Yes. And usually what will happen is um, there is a premium, right, mm -hmm. that goes with the policy. And so the deductible is the insurer's portion of the, what they would cover in the event of a fire, for example. I'm just going to keep using that. Uh, so the higher the deductible, the lower the premium. Okay. And really you want to view your policy as something in place in a major catastrophic type of loss versus the smaller losses. You know, um, someone stole my bike. You really want to save those claims and, and you view your policy as something that's there for a catastrophic loss. One, it's going to keep your premiums down. And two, it's going to ensure that when you need the policy in a major loss, you're going to have it in place. Wow. All right. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us at Michelle's. This is Wine About Real Estate, and we will see you next week.